Three new studies just released on Alzheimer's disease. 26 million people are affected by this disease worldwide. So what do these new studies mean for those who suffer from this progressive and often fatal brain disorder? Let's get our medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson, in here to take us through these studies. Dr. Tim, always a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you, Chris. All right, let's look at this first one, which is a little surprising here. Alcohol, you would think always bad, but now there's a new study that says two alcoholic beverages a day could reduce the risk of Alzheimer's in the elderly. What do you think? Well, they followed a group of 3,000 elderly people, 75 or older, who did not have Alzheimer's. They followed them over a six-year period and looked at the correlation between drinking and their risk of developing Alzheimer's. And they found that the, those who drank one to two drinks a day over that period actually reduced their risk of developing Alzheimer's by about 40%. Now, I have to stress that people who drank more actually increase their risk. So we're talking about truly moderate drinking here may have this added benefit. We know it might also be helpful to the heart. So I'm not recommending that people start drinking for this purpose, but if they're drinking safely at that level, it may have some benefit. It's curious how behaviors can mean different things in different mm. studies. All right, the next one takes a look at the effect of DHA supplements on Alzheimer's. DHA is, of course, an omega-3 fatty acid. We hear about them all the time. I have some plates of fish in front of me this morning, Dr. Tim. You can't see them, but I have some salmon, some tuna, and some supplements. Here they are, real cooked fish here in front of me. So what did the new study uncover about the effect of DHA on memory loss? Well, they have had some hints from other studies that DHA might help in the treatment of Alzheimer's or maybe even in the prevention. But they did, for the first time, a really rigorous study in older people, 400 people randomized to either taking two grams of DHA a day or a placebo. And this was done over an 18-month period, and they found no difference between the two groups in outcomes. So in this more rigorous controlled study, DHA did not seem to be helpful. Somewhat disappointing news. Somewhat, especially for me, because I have two plates of it sitting in front of me <laughs> right now. Now, we seem to be learning more and more about the effect of war on our veterans. Now we see this study. Veterans who suffer PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, may be more likely to get Alzheimer's. What's your take on that? Well, I think it's a significant study. They looked at a group of 50,000 veterans who had been diagnosed with that disorder versus a group of 125,000 veterans who had not been diagnosed. And over a seven-year period, as they followed them, the group that had the stress disorder had been diagnosed with it, had a 1.8 increase in diagnosis, diagnosis, I should say, for Alzheimer's, almost a two-fold increase. So one more reason why we need to identify these veterans and treat them in many ways now also to help prevent Alzheimer's. Dr. Tim, thank you so much. You're right. It's an absolute reason to have our veterans get more medical mm -hmm. attention earlier on. Appreciate you being here with us this morning. And obviously, you want to get more information on this. Alzheimer's is very important to people. Please go to abcnews.com. You'll see additional resources right there.